Gosh, that's pretty, isn't it? Look at that. Hey guys, Jimmy here, and today is rather special indeed. I am at the Dunsold Park circuit, or the aerodrome, best known from the Top Gear series, because I've been invited by HTC5 and McLaren to drive something rather awesome indeed. And this is the car that I'm gonna be driving, the McLaren 570S GT4. So turbocharged V8 engine, 3.8 litre, about 450 brake horsepower, complete with racing slicks and racing brakes, far beyond anything I've ever driven before. Right, so I'm going to speak a bit quieter because in the background right now, they're actually filming for the McLaren Shadow competition. The reason why we're here bit different from last year. World's Fastest Game is about becoming the McLaren sim driver. This is focused about becoming uh, McLaren, one of McLaren's eSports drivers. There were over 500,000 people that took part in this competition, myself included actually in my Tyad. And that's now been whittled down to just 17 drivers. And by the time we get to Thursday, there'll be three in our grand finals. One of the big differences between last year and this year is that McLaren are really trying to make a firm link between esports and real life racing, which is why our drivers are driving these things around today, the 570 uh, S GT4 cars, and why I get to drive them too. So I mean like, I don't really know what to say, we're now about a couple of minutes away from actually driving the car, you can see I've got my kind of oven gloves on at the moment, and um, I won't swear, but I am incredibly nervous. Um, this is a proper piece of kit, and I never thought that I'd get the chance to go from being a sim racer to actually driving something like this, and uh, I'm nervous for a couple of reasons, what if I don't do well, what if, uh, what if I've been it, you know, all those little silly things that go through your head, but I think Really, the overriding emotion is just excitement. This is, uh, this is unreal, absolutely unreal. Somehow they found a helmet big enough for my melon head, which is good. Um, but yeah, this is it now. GoPro's on. Crunch time. There's a heart rate monitor, uh, basically to see just how unfit I am. Resting heart rate of 200. <laughs> so there goes Theo off for a drive. I'm joined by uh, Charlie. Hello, Charlie. Hi there. Um, Looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be pretty crazy. Um, yeah. It's got a camera there and the camera pointing forward. And I'm now very well strapped. I can tell you that now. Jeez. Final words, Jimmy? Um, pray for me. <laughs> no, this is going to be awesome. It really is. Right. Right. So, first of all, if you put your foot right on the brake, yep. a nice firm brake pressure. So, so, all the, dash, the dashboard and everything will fire up for us now. You recommend braking left foot or right foot? I would recommend right foot. The reason okay. being with this particular car, because it's a road car system, if the left foot overrides the right foot, if, if, you, if you're on the power and you have a little bit of brake, it kills all the power from the engine. Okay. So we won't let it do both. So. And you can left up if you touch two pedals and um, yeah, it kills the power a little bit. Sure, okay. So we're just going to go back a fraction into reverse. Oh, oh, sorry, just put your foot on the brake again. Yeah. Just a, and move back probably about a couple of inches nearly, just a very small bit of throttle, and it's literally just to um, just to go off into a little stop under the under the wheel, so it doesn't go. So we're into drive now, into forward. So right. whenever you're ready. Uh, so here we first, go. So, yeah. This is crazy. A lot of lock in these things. There you go. So, as we say, slip tyres, so they're a little bit cold at the moment, being sat over lunch, but it'll soon then, it'll soon start to generate some temperature. So here I am, driving a 570S GT4 car. Uh, going this way, straight on? Yeah, straight on. Pull the road around to the right. And the exit here, gradually let the car run out wide to the left hand side. Thing. And then we're going to put up on the opposite, then we're going to turn left down the straight, that's it. Right now it's 
nice and smooth and really good understanding of everything. And, yeah, yeah, really good. Thank you, man. That was absolutely epic. Thank you for the, uh, for the ride. Thank you for watching the video. I mean, that's one word for it, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh. I think that's a highlight. I don't think I've ever experienced anything like that before. And now uh, I think I made the mistake of going out there and driving something, and now I have to do it again. That was, that was a dream. <laughs> oh my God. How did he do? Did very well, yeah, yeah. really well. Oh, Great, um, took a couple of laps to just build up to everything, and then by lap three or four, really, really good. Very good. Thank you, man. I mean, what can I say um, after driving what is by far the fastest car I've ever driven? Uh, I never thought I'd get the opportunity to drive half of something like that. Being out there on the circuit, it's a very, a very odd feeling. The fear goes quite quickly. I said, well, the fear kind of came back going for the follow through, but I'll give you that in a second. And you work your way up and you find the car is capable of so much, so much more than a road car. I know that sounds silly to say out loud, but when you're, you don't realize it until you actually do it. The brakes, for example, I don't think I actually hit the full brake the entire way through. And it felt like my face was being tugged off. Just the force of slowing down was absolutely crazy. And I mean, that coupled with the acceleration, the noise, the feeling of being strapped into the car. I mean, you are strapped in, you cannot move. Your hands device there as well. You can barely look left, you can barely look right when you're in the car you're a part of the machine and you feel that much as well. So, I mean, I afterwards, I was, and still now, I'm a bit speechless, I'm a bit dumbfounded. I expected to get out of the car leaping and jumping and like that, but there's just nothing. It's just trying to process it for what it was, which was an absolutely amazing experience. And of course, it couldn't have happened without McLaren and HTC 5. So thank you so much, you guys, for picking me up with this great opportunity. And uh, hopefully it isn't the last time. So as our competitors go around in the background, that's it from me here at Dunsfold. An absolutely unforgettable experience. And of course, make sure to tune in to the McLaren official YouTube channel, 7 p.m. GMT on Thursday for the grand finals. It's going to be fantastic. Make sure to watch. Take care. Have an awesome day. See you all next time.